Welcome to day two. We are gonna start with our rows. Now, this is a more difficult challenge, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a deload day, okay? So, 1,000 meters, 700 meters, 500 meters, 300 meters, 200 meters. This might take you 25 minutes. It's a descending set. You only have to do this one time through. So on a row, just wanna overview it. What you're gonna see is she's using her legs and her arms when she rows back, not just her arms or just her legs. Full body, big lean back. Reach and row around that back and reach. Goes under, drive. Pushing with the legs, going at it. Reaching, rowing, reaching, rowing. Rest. Our exercise for the day is you're gonna do a steady state aerobic capacity. So aerobic, what I mean by that is you're not stressing your body enough to where you have lack of oxygen. It's a smooth steady state cardio to where you can actually increase recovery, but more importantly, also get a very good heart rate without putting yourself over an edge and getting good healthy stress. So slight incline, mine is right now set to a nine and a 2.2 speed. I'm gonna to try to hold that for 15 minutes. So a nice smooth walk, I'm gonna to try to do it in a way to where I don't have to put my hands on. I wanna be able to use my spine and walk versus locking myself into a position. If I can, I wanna get onto my calves each and every step. I'm going all the way up and all the way down. I'm gonna to try to hold this for 15 minutes. Our next superset is a pigeon and sitting on our feet, so it's a stretch. We're gonna go two times through, we're gonna do 45 seconds each leg and 45 seconds on our feet. So we're gonna go ahead and come up, we're gonna put our legs sideways on the bench. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my chest elevated. So I'm gonna to try to hold this position as long as I can, actually pushing that leg into the bench. After 20 to 25 seconds, I'm gonna put my hands around the box or the bench and I'm going to hug the bench. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure through my glute and the outside of my leg and relax and breathe. Good, you can use a couch, you can use a chair, you can use a stool, you can use anything to where there's an elevated surface. That means anything. Our next exercise is we're sitting on our feet, the second part of this. So we're gonna go ahead and go down. Now make sure we go sideways. You wanna see how the foot is flat. It takes time to get to where she's at, which unlocks the patella, unlocks the quad, unlocks the top of the ankles. Now, if you can't do it, say I'm a chair, Something in front, you're gonna feel a twinge where you need it most. It could be the patella, it could be the quad, it could be the shin, or it could be the ankle. Gradually over time, you're gonna be able to sit all the way down and back. You can use a chair or a stool to pull yourself back up and get into a comfortable position. If that's too much, you can lift one leg in front of you, put your foot in the ground, and you can take your time and go off one leg. So you can actually use the other leg to propel you up and back into the air. Rest. Our next exercise, we have a split squat isometric. We're gonna do three minutes each leg. So we're gonna have one leg in front, one leg in back, front leg in flexion, back leg in extension. So we're looking for a straight line on this back leg and we're gonna breathe and we're gonna hold. So put your foot on the ground. We're just relaxing today, trying to put breath back into the body, breathing through my stomach and lower back. We're gonna go three minutes with the left leg in front and we're gonna switch and go three minutes with the right leg in front. I want you to focus on your breath and learning how to relax. This can be your meditation. Last but not least is dead hang. One of my favorite exercises, it's something I do every day. It decompresses the lower back. If those jelly donuts in your back are squirting through, meaning like you have the gel in your disc, if those are squirting through or they're compressed and your lower back's really tight, this is a good easy way to pull that thing back out. So we're just gonna grab our hands on, find a nice comfortable position, and we're just gonna let ourselves relax. It is a lot of pressure through the back and the shoulder. If you need to, you can put your feet down on something and gradually let yourself relax. But in a perfect world, my feet are off the ground and everything is decompressing, I'm tucking my chin, letting all the energy go in my back. 